This is my video for my Indigenous 100 Studies class. My name is Megan Hamilton, and I will be doing my project on the Natives people of Siberia. I will be touching on the topics of the animals they relied on, their sacred animal, how they travel and their survival methods, and how they have come along over the years. Okay, so the Natives people depend heavily on their reindeer herds, as this is their main resource. They also do eat fish such as white salmon, muskin, silver white fish, and in the summer months, they gra gather cranberries as they go through the mountains. The reindeer is their sacred animal. They use the reindeer very strategically. They believe that the reindeer is their life and their future. The Natives people have chosen a reindeer, their own sacred reindeer, which must not be harnessed or slaughtered until it can no longer walk anymore. They will not let any parts of the reindeer go to waste. They will use the meat as a source of food. They sometimes eat the meat boiled or cooked, even frozen or just completely raw. It was believed by the Nati people that a freshly slaughtered reindeer, its blood would be filled with lots of vitamins, so they would often drink the blood of the reindeer for good health. They would use the reindeer's fur for clothing and shelter purposes. The overs were made out of reindeer hide and shaped into their tent covers that were either called shrooms or maize. Their bones would be made into tools or transportation. The bones of the reindeer build sleds for them to travel in every day. As the children take part in ch daily chores, then later the women would pack the sleds every morning in preparation for the daily travels. Near night, they would align the sleds in a half circle around the shroom for the morning travels. The m reindeer migrate over 1,000 kilometers across the tundra each year, so they have to travel seasonally with the herd. The summer months were much easier than the winter months. They would leave the reindeer would leave their larches and their willow trees to migrate much more north into the deepest of winters. The Natives people can be living in conditions of up to minus 50 degrees Celsius. They would then make their winter clothes with the reindeer fur on the inside for warmth and the reindeer's hide on the outside for protection. The reindeer's migration routes, though, are now affected by the infrastructure associated with the resource extractions. The new traffic has now made it very difficult for the reindeers to cross the roads, which were not once there, and the population of the reindeer is going down significantly. Also, the treating of the quality of the pasture is poor. The Nati communities were forced to be split into groups known as bridges and form and forced to live on collective farms and villages. Each bridge was forced by the government to pay their taxes in reindeer meat. The children were stripped from their families and placed into a government-ran school. In these schools, their language was forbidden to be spoken. They were horribly mistreated by priests that ran these schools. They were verbally, physically, and sexually abused. These schools completely tried to strip the identity of these children from their families. 
as the temperatures are rising in the tundra, the permafrost continues to thaw, which causes, um, which causes the release of carbon dioxide, methane, and greenhouse gases to come into the atmosphere. This is the cause of the ice beginning to melt much earlier in the spring and then freezing much later into the fall as the temperatures are not dropping or rising as quickly as they used to. The herds were forced to change migration patterns once again. In 1990, a long-term project to exploit the pendule gases was developed by a Russian company called Gazprom. Then, in 2012, the first gas supply was produced. This then spread billions of cubic meters every year and later was piped into Western Europe. This was ruining the migration patterns of the reindeer once again. Today's pipelines, drill towers, and tarmac roads are completely transforming the tundra in a negative way. The Anetis man, Sergei Hundu, said land is everything to us. Everything. He continues, we are afraid with all these industries, we will no longer be able to migrate anymore. And if we cannot migrate anymore, the reindeer cannot migrate anymore. Our people may as well just disappear altogether. The Natis people have lived within the tundra's fragile ecosystem for hundreds of years. They have only ever tried to protect the land that was given to them and now more gas fields began to be produced in 2019. The Natis people have endured the challenges of the colonial evolution for years now. So today, their ways of life have been seriously threatened in a way that is irreversible. With the collapse of the communities, young adults began to live their lives and leave the villages for cities. A trend which continues today in urban environments, they find it almost impossible to adapt to life away from their annual rhythms of the tundra and now suffering from high levels of alcoholism and unemployment and mental health problems, they don't know if they'll ever recover. Today, ways of civilization have almost completely destroyed the Natis people's culture. They are losing the one thing they thought they would never lose, their reindeer. This is due to complete lack of thoughtfulness. And not only is their ways of complete, being completely stripped away from them, it is going to be taken away from everyone's lives sooner or later. The government and all of our companies are destroying the environment more and more each year. And if this continues, we're going to have nowhere to go and nothing to do. Everything that we take for granted every day will be ruined. We are going to wish that we would have taken a few extra minutes to hear out the Natis people what they were trying to explain to us. To just have taken a step back and seen how efficient their ways of life are. They survived and are still surviving in brutal temperatures for years. They survived in below 50 weather in just what they had to make for themselves. They did not rely on anything other than what they could catch for resources or what they can make with their own hands. Their resources of transportation were made by hand that did not harm the ecosystem whatsoever. We as a society need all of these huge companies and manufacturing extras to stop. Nature does lead the way. 
and one day we will realize we should have followed it and not disturbed it. Thank you for watching my presentation. I really hope you enjoyed learning about the Natives people and their ways of life. Thank you.